I want to do this this video. Uh, someone contacted me because they made a bag like this one, which is like a little crossbody bag without a gusset, and they want to know how to put a gusset in it. They know how to make the bag, but they did not understand how to add a gusset to this bag. Well, I'm because I am working on a bag that someone asked me to make for them and uh, so I decided to just shoot a short video to show them, to show how that gusset is put in to make it simple. Hopefully I, I can make it simple. Now this is the bag that I'm making which is a uh, this is a bag someone needed for a carry-on someone that travels a lot they wanted something with a handle but they also want a strap I have not put the strap on the gusset is just it's just clamped on right now so what I'll do is just just disassemble this and just to show how to put this together because the only difference between these two between this bag and this one here is that uh, this one have a gusset, this one do not have a gusset, this one have a, a flap, this one do not have a flap. So if you just imagine that this one here did not have a flap, the only difference would be is, is the gusset. So let me just lay this out. And then I'm going to reclamp it just to show how to how to put this in. This would be this would be the <coughs> The front of the bag, well this is actually the back of the bag here with the zipper. So this would be this part here which is the back of the bag. This one would be the front of the bag. Bear with me for a minute. Clamp it. This would be this would be the front of your bag. Okay, so so the only difference is this bag here have a gusset. Now if I was going to make this bag right here, I would basically just take these two, lay them face to face, and just sew them. I'll just sew them around, and that would make this bag here. So, because I'm putting a gusset in it, I will cut out whatever whatever the width of the gusset that I want, whether I want it to be two inches, four inches, or six inches, I will cut out the width of the, of the gusset. I will measure, I will measure from, from this point here all the way around to this point right here. But what I always do I always add like one inch to my measurement so I don't cut it too short. So I make sure that I, I, I get enough for when I turn this, this, this corner here. And see how my corner are, are, are rounded? You want your corner to be rounded because uh, unless you have a flat, I mean a, uh, a post bed sewing machine, it's, it's kind of difficult to, to sew your corners if they're not rounded off. 
So that's why I always round off my uh, my corners. Now you, you can sew it uh, on a flatbed or on a uh, uh, cylinder um, sewing machine, but it's a little difficult. But it's easier if you have a post bed uh, sewing machine. So. And then also by, by having it, it rounded off, by having it rounded off, it also helped when you turn the corner. When you turn that corner, see how how this here is rounded? It, it it just fits much better. So that's why I always round off my uh corners. Now, so basically what I would do. Once I have my measurements, I will take one side, make sure it's lined up, and this will be done after I have, I have put it on once. And, and, and have it the right length and then cut off that extra that I had on there. And the reason why I, I, cut, I will cut it longer is because it's easier, easier to cut off what, what you don't need than to, because you can't add to it. So, uh, so I always cut it off. Well, I always make it longer and then cut it off. Okay, so what I will do, I will take these, take my clamps, and you can use whatever you have that works for you as far as keeping it together. And I just take it. And around the corners, camera, by the way, around the corners, I want to make sure that I keep it lined up. I want to make sure I keep it lined up. And remember that the leather, the leather will bend. So I just bend the leather and to make sure. See, I want to make sure that it stays even all the way around. And that's going to be the key to sewing this. And again, I keep it even all the way around. See, I keep it even. And a lot of times when people are putting putting their gusset on, they don't think that it's going they don't think that it's it's able to to stay even all the way around because it, it have a bend to it. Well, just keep in mind the leather is flexible. That's why when you're working with, with your leather, you want to make sure whatever project you're doing, the leather is flexible enough to bend the way you want it to bend. So now I'll go to the other side. I'll get it lined up to make sure it's it's lined up the way it should be. I'm keeping it even all the way, all the way around.
the reason why I wanted to come over to this side because that assures me that everything lines up the way it should line up instead of just starting from one side and working my way all the way back around uh, because sometimes if you do that this side over here may seem to be a little longer or a little shorter but if you if you line it up on this side on one side and then line it up on the other side and then work your way back through the center well then if it's if it's if it seems to be a little longer or a little shorter you can stretch the leather and put it back in place. So basically what I'm doing, so I'm just keeping it, keeping everything lined up. do my around my corners it's very important that you keep your corners even as you get it clamped down and glued down especially during the gluing process. And I use contact cement glue to glue it down to make sure it stays in place while I'm sawing it. That is, uh, that's what it's like once it's, it's clamped and that's what the side would look like. And then basically what you would do is just do the other side. You would just take this and now now this one what I will do is that I will clamp this end together. And then I will clamp this end together. Just to assure me that I've got everything in the right place. And now I can work my way back around the center. Go around my curve. I go over on this side, get it clamped down. Like I say, I want to make sure that I have the, the side, the, uh, the gusset lined up with each panel, the front and the, and the back panel. I need some more clamps. That is the key, keeping it straight or keeping it lined up. Because when you start to sew, if it is not lined up, 
you're going to miss one side of it and you're going to be disappointed with what it looks like. Now go back and I'll do this curve. Now a lot of time when people are, are, are lining it up, they sort of overlook it. Um, it's easy to not see that it's not lined up and you don't see it until after you sew it. And at that point it's sort of like too late because now you have put the holes in in your leather so you have to make a decision do I take the hole do I take the thread out or do I just leave it and try to act like it's not there but that's hard to do but people will do that because they know if they pull it out it's left with the with the uh, with the holes And that's it. That is how you would put that gusset in when you have the the two panel, you have the front and the back. And that's that's the same thing if, even if you had a flap, you would do the same thing. So that's that's how uh you put in a, a gusset. Hopefully that this was uh, some help to you to show you just kind of show you the top of this hopefully this was some help to you to show you uh, just how you can put in a gusset how you can take a bag like this which is the same thing as a clutch bag you know it's, it's really this is just one piece that's folded and so if you if you cut it to where it's two pieces then you're able to do this so you can go from this to this and again uh thank you for watching and if you have not subscribed please do and if you know anyone that uh, that's working with leather and they would like to learn how to do more share this with them and uh Again, thank you for supporting us and for watching and for subscribing to our channel.